Good morning, Facebook. Here we go. Good morning. Thanks for joining if you're joining. If not, that's cool too. If you're on the replay, I'm all good with that. Appreciate you just taking the time and getting your body moving because that's what this is all about, right? All right, so today I got a lot of really great feedback about rolling out. So we're going to continue with that because some people didn't quite know how to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and get our tennis ball. That little tennis ball that I told you you were gonna need or can of vegetables, empty bottle of wine. You need something a little softer, your peanut butter jar, or if you have a roller like me, get your roller out. All right, so we're gonna take the tennis ball today and we're gonna start with rolling out our feet, okay? While we are rolling out our feet, we're gonna talk about the importance of positive self-talk. Sometimes it gets away from you, sorry. If you are doing these workouts or any workouts, if you're following anybody, try to stay positive. Remember yesterday at the end of the workout, we talked about positive people are positive because they choose to be. Go ahead and roll that foot out back and forth. Same thing goes for when you're working out. Let's go ahead and go to the other foot, roll back and forth. Foot rolled out. Back and forth. So if you are talking negative to yourself, it's not gonna do you any favors. So always say, I can do this. And if you can't do it, modify it. It's okay. You don't have to be perfect. Work up to the advancements. Go ahead and roll out your calf back and forth. You're gonna help that calf really. If you find any nodules, remember, move your foot back and forth. You can use your wine bottle for this. You can use your ball for this. Back and forth. And other leg. We're gonna roll out that calf. Back and forth. I'll do this as long as it is helping you guys. I know I can be a bit much at times, so if it becomes too much, let me know. If you want to see some certain workouts or if you want to get some glute or core ideas, let me know. Back and forth. All right. Remember, we're going to roll out our chest right here. We're just going to go back and forth. Remember, once you find those nodules in your chest area or shoulder area, you want to roll back and forth, try to relax, back and forth. You want to do that for about 30 seconds, slow and controlled, always think slow and controlled. All right, let's go ahead and go to your other one. Oh, start your activity watch if you have it. I'm putting mine to cardio. All right, here we go. Please let me know if you are doing this with me, how many calories you burned. Back and forth, find your sensitive spots, relax on it, turn that hand back and forth. Remember you can use your can of vegetables, your wine bottle, your jar of Skippy. <laughs> or your tennis ball. The tennis ball helps get in a little bit deeper 
Roll that arm back and forth. Remember guys, this is all about warming up those joints, warming up those muscles, getting the nozzles out so we can do some intensities without anything pulling. Back and forth. And stand up. All right, today's gonna be a lot more glute focused. Um, bottom half, I'm gonna do every other day. One will be upper body, one will be lower body. So if you have your canned vegetables, or your tennis ball, or your roller, I'm gonna do my tennis ball because I get a little muscle tied up right in here. So I'm gonna roll on that tennis ball, right there on that outside of that glute. Once I find the little nodules in there, I'm going to bring up the side that I have my ball under. I'm gonna bring that foot to the knee. I'm gonna roll, get in there a little deeper, opening up those glute muscles to get to the piriformis. And I'm just gonna flex this foot. We're gonna do that about 30 seconds. Back and forth. And other side. All right, let's go ahead and get to the other side. Bring your foot up. Okay, back and forth. Once you find your spots, bring it back and forth with your foot. Opening up that piriformis, like I said, getting on that glute side. Bring it back and forth. tuck your hip to get to that muscle that needs to be stretched, which is your TFL. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and stretch out your hamstring. So lightly push down, flex your foot back and forth. If you can't, bring your hands here. It's fine. You can bring both of them. If you can't push down on it. Back and forth. And bring it back. Do the other side. Here we go. Remember, brace yourself if you need to. If you can, slightly push down. And back and forth. About 30 seconds. 
seconds. And back. Now we're gonna stamp and we're gonna stretch out these mid thighs. So go ahead and get bent over the best that you can and reach back. And drive the floor, come to the side. Stretch out that side of your back and your hamstring and your glutes. Walk it over, other side. Grab your calf, inner thigh, stretch, make sure you're breathing. Don't over straighten your knees, in and out. Now we're gonna reach for the sky and bend over to the side. Back up to the middle, bend over to the side. There you go. Stretch out that side, those side muscles. Okay. Now we're gonna get into your imaginary jump rope. Okay? Remember, if you want to, Count yourself. I sometimes mess up when I'm trying to talk and teach at the same time. All right, here we go. We're going to do 30 of your imaginary jump rope. If you want to, you can just step side to side. If you can, imagine you're jumping with a jump rope. If you want to make this even more dramatic, jump a little higher. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. All right, now we're going to go into our single hip thrust. That workout we did the other day, building your J-Lo booty. <laughs> go ahead and bring it here onto the floor. Remember, you want to push that lower ab into the floor, and instead of doing both, which if you need to, you can. Remember, tucking that hip up and coming up. We're going to do single leg, and we're going to do 15 each side. So take the ball right there in that hip area, squish it, get it right here, and we're going to come up and down. Ready? And up, still tucking that hip under. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If you want to, you can lift the toes off the floor, make it a little more challenging. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, come on. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I overcounted. All right, here we go, bring that hip out. Right here, squish it, squish it. All right, now we're gonna come up with just this glute. If you want to, you can bring your toes off the floor to make it a little more challenging. Here we go, pressing through the floor. Keep your back straight, and here we go. And squared, one, two, three, come on, four, Five, ten more, ten, nine, eight, seven, close your eyes, sometimes that helps with the mind-muscle connection, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, we're going to do three sets of each today, so that way we can get to all of them. Here we go. We're gonna do our imaginary jump rope. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're doing 30, 12, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. All right, back here. Get your drink of water, because I'm going to. Not gonna lie, these little bit hands are a little nerve wracking because these are so out of my comfort zone, guys. So thanks for 
replaying or taking the time to do them with me. I appreciate it. All right, here we go. Take your ball, put it into that hip area. If you have it, you can also use just nothing. <laughs> just hold your knee. Or you can use a can. It just helps you kind of keep it more stabilized. All right, here we go. Ready and up. 15, one, two, three. Remember, keep that core involved, that glute, five, six, seven, eight. Bring the toes, make it more challenging. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, two more. 14, last one, 15. All right, other side. Put your ball into your hip. Squeeze it. Here we go. And up. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, we're almost there, twelve, thirteen, two more, fourteen, last one, and fifteen. All right, bring it down. We're going to do one more round. Jumping jacks, here we go. And one, two, or jump ropes, sorry, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. All right, last glute. Bring it down. Here we go. Whew. In your hip joint, right here. Put the ball, you can see it. Go ahead and grab it, squeeze it. Bring the knee up. If you don't have that, that's fine. Bring the knee up. Here we go. And one, try to keep it square. Two, squeeze that glute. Three, four, five, six. Come on guys, you got this. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. How great would it be that you have that bikini body when we leave this thing? Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Last one and fifteen. Other side, right here. Open it up, close it. Here we go. Remember, if you don't have anything, don't use it. Here we go. You can just bring your knee up. And up. One. Keep it square. Two. Try not to let the hip twist. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. This is our last one of these. Ten. Five more. Five. Four, three, two, last one, and one. All right, bring it down. The next one is lunge side to side. This one's not hard. It sounds complicated, but it's really not. All right, you do it several different ways. I personally would like to see this. If not, just rock back and forth. If you want to take it to the extreme, you can go that way and then go that way. Go that way and then go that way. All right, we're going to do 30 of these, so that's 15 each side. I'm going to do the medium. If you want to do the lunges, you can. If you want to just rock side to side, you can do that too, okay? This is meant to not break down your immune system, but to get your heart rate up. All right, here we go. And side to side. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep it strong. Nine, 
10, head in line with spine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, we're only going to 30, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, come on, 25, 26, we're almost there, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, here we go. Dead bug. <laughs> For those who have been doing the workouts, it's this one that we did the other day, except for we're gonna bring this arm down and we're going to extend only one side and then we're gonna bring these two sides together for 15 and then we're gonna do the opposite. All right, ready? Hopefully you're still with me, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, pick it up, 10, we're just going to 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, other side. Bring this arm down. I like to put this one behind my head just to bring it up. All right, here we go. Extend the body and flex it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can't do this. Just do regular bug. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, back to lunges, side to side. Here we go. Today we're gonna to try to pick up the pace. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Remember, stand tall. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, bring that hip back, 15, 16, 17, try not to be here, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Back to dead bug, get you a drink. Here we go. Back to the floor, back is flat, remember I sometimes will pick up my hip and then bring it back because I do have a sway back and if you do that will help you find where your, your QL is, basically your lower back. All right, so this side first, I'm gonna put my hand on my hip right here, I'm gonna extend my left leg, you wanna keep this, keep the, the hip from rotating in, one, 15, two, keep it strong, three, four, Five, six, seven, here we go. Eight, blow out on the way in. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Other side, ready? Breathe it in, breathe it out, and here we go. Breathe it in and out when you squeeze. One, Two, try not to let this leg take over. Four, five, six, seven, eight, come on, nine, 10, we're just going to 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. All right, back up, here we go, side to side. Ready, the more intensity, you get the more calories you burn. All right, so I'm gonna do the hard version. Just go to side to side, guys, if you want. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, keep it strong, 19, 20, 
20, come on, we got uh, 10 more, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, woo, 3, 2, and 1. All right. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thought I heard my head even calling. All right, here we go. Back to tip up. Bring it back. Lift your hips up. If you have a sway back, get it straight. All right, here we go. Last one. Ready? Oh, I reached my goal already. Here we go. And one, two. Keep it strong. Three, four. You might feel it right here. Five. If you feel any low back, get it more straight. Six, seven. Try not to move this leg. Eight, nine. 10, five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! Other side, last time, here we go. Woo! And this hand on your hip, this hand on your head. Remember, elbow to knee, don't move this one. And extend and bring it up. One, two, three, four, Five, keep it square. Six, seven, eight, nine. If you need to, put this leg down. Ten, five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! That was a good one. All right, we're going to do a step back to high knees. So all you got to do is step, step. Up, up. Okay, so it's step, step, up, up. Okay? Down grade, step, step, up, up. Or if you want to really get cheeky with it, reverse lunge, high knee. All right, ready? 15 each side. I'm going to go one, one, two, two. Here we go. And one, one, two, two, three, four, five. Five, sorry, and six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten, eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. All right, fire hydrant hip circles. If you're one of my clients, you know what this one is, and yes, I know it sucks, I'm sorry. But it is necessary for the hip joint, for the glute muscle, and just overall joint health, okay? You wanna get that body moving in those joints. All right, so if, we, if you were with me the other day, we did fire hydrant, we came out. So today, you're gonna come out, kick back, bring it in. So bring it out, Kick back without your hip tilting. Remember, hands in line with the floor and back. All right, we're going to do 15 each side. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, you can stiffen your elbows. Three, four, keep that square. Five, Six, come on guys. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, if it's too much, bring it down. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And fifteen. All right, other side. Here we go. Okay, this is coming off, sorry. All right, here we go. Ready, remember, keep that hip tilted. Bring out that leg. Here we go, and out, back, and in. One, two, we're doing 15. Three, four, Five, keep your abs tight. Six, if you need to, come down. Seven. Eight. Nine. Sorry. Ten. Five more. Five. Four. 
reverse lunge, high knee, high knee. Back, back, high knee, high knee with intensity, that's middle. And if you wanna just get here, get here, up, up, that would be your easiest one. All right, ready? Here we go. Reverse lunge, reverse lunge, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight. If you can't maintain that knee above the, the heel, 10, 10, 11, 11, and don't do the reverse lunge, 12, 12, we're almost there, 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15. Okay, here we go. Oh, sorry, we're doing to 30, so keep going. So 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, 20, 1, 21, 22, 22, 23, 23, 24, 24, 25, 25, 26, 26, 27, 27, 28, 28, 29, 29, 30, and 30. All right, fire hydrant circles. Here we go. Palms under your shoulders. Get everything nice and tight. You wanna square off your chest, just like this. Keep your abs nice and tight. We're gonna bring it out and up and down. One, two, three, four. We're almost there, guys. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just going to fifteen. Eleven. 12, keep that hip tucked, 13, two more, 14, almost there, and 15, all right, other side, remember, don't let your hip turn on you, ready, push through the floor, hands under your chest, if you need to, come down, I'm keeping mine under my shoulders, here we go, bring it out, and up and down. One, two, three, four. Don't you love when Alexa starts talking just for no reason? Five, why is she listening? She is such a nosy neighbor. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, we're almost there. 14, last one out, up, and 15. All right, last round, and then we're gonna go into our stretches. I'm doing good on time today, Amy. Okay, here we go. So, we're going to reverse lunge, reverse lunge, up, up, or the other ones that I told you. If you're following along, you know what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. One, one, two, two, we're doing 30. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Come on. Eleven, eleven, twelve, twelve. It's our last round. Thirteen, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. 17, 17, 18, 18. Come on, 19, 19, 20, 20. 10 more. 21, 21, 22, 22. Come on, guys. 23, 23, 24, 24, 25, 25, 26, 26, 27, 27, 28, 28. Keep it strong. 29, 29, 30. And 30. Last fire hydrant. Woo! Okay, here we go. Bring it down if you need to. 
regress it. If you only want to come out, that's fine. I prefer the hip circles because it's good for your joint health and your glutes. All right, here we go. And pushing through the floor, keeping everything tucked. Your, your hip needs to be tucked under. Here we go. Bring it out and back. That's one, two, three, only 15 of these. Four, five, head in line with spine. Six, seven, eight, nine, come on, 10, 11, four more. 14, 15. So watch your back. I notice mine starting to do that. I'm just getting tired. But try to keep it strong. Try to keep that hip tucked under. Here we go. This side, palms flat, fingers spread under your shoulders. Here we go. Head in line with spine and out, up, down. One. Two, three, only 15, last one, four, five, six, seven, eight, come on, we're almost there, don't give up on me now, nine, ten, eleven, make it more challenging, out of weight. So back behind your knee. This is 13. 14. Last one. And 15. Woo! All right. Good job. Only 33 minutes today. All right. Woo! If you joined me, please let me know if you're re-watching later. I want to know that too. I want to know who's actually doing these and is it worth it for me to share. All right. Go ahead. And bring it forward. We're going to stretch out the hip. Stretch out those hamstrings. Bring it forward. Now go ahead and come to this side. Hand opposite on your thigh. This hand on your calf. Try to get to your nose to your knee. On the inhale. On the exhale, go down as far as you can. Inhale. Come down. Inhale, sink a little deeper. And hold, 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 hold. Almost there. Sit down as low as you can. Hold. And back up. Bring your arms around. Other side. This opposite arm on the calf. This hand, bring it onto the thigh. Same thing here. Go ahead and inhale. On the exhale, get that nose to the knee. Ready, inhale, and sink a little deeper. Nose to the knee. One more time, we're gonna hold. Inhale, and exhale. That's as low as you can go, it's fine. Just breathe, hold, 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 hold. Inhale, let's do it for four breaths. One more, three more actually. And nose to knee, inhale, nose to knee. One more, make it a good one. Good job. All right. We're going to do some hips side to side, right here. Go ahead and move your hips back and forth without touching the floor, without picking your feet up. If you have to pick your feet up, use your hands so that you can stay planted. We're gonna do five of these. That's one, and back. You start walking, that's fine, we all do. Try to keep it straight, try to keep this chest open. This is three, Three, 
Two more.